from too much water to not enough. And good evening. This year's unusually deep snowpack continues to pose problems for people living along the Spokane River in North Idaho. It was just last month that homeowners on Harbor Island were sandbagging their property to keep the water from coming up high. And today, they don't even have enough water to launch a boat. KXLY4's Jeff Humphrey shows us why. When we were here on Harbor Island just last month, this boat dock was submerged underneath more than a foot of water. However, today it's high and dry. It's all part of a very unusual water year for the people that live here along the Spokane River. Just last month, Harbor Island residents were frantically filling sandbags. The Spokane River was running above flood stage, and Andy Ellis was one of several people using pumps to bail out their yards. But today, the waters dropped more than six feet. You know, it went down a lot faster than we thought. Uh, I was even thinking about putting my boat in the water, but I was here in 97, and uh, the people that put their boats in the water, pretty soon they were on the bottom on the sand. The river has bottomed out because gates of the Post Falls Dam are still running wide open. As a condition of its license, a vista can't close spillways until Lake Coeur d'Alene drops back to its summer elevation. Our guideline is, is that we cannot close gates at the Post Falls Dam until the lake comes down to summer elevation 21-28. Uh, we legally can't close the gates. And that's why even though the lake is high, the river is missing about six feet of water. Skippers who brave the channel between Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene need to be on the lookout for obstacles that are usually well below the surface. You live with it. That's part of living on the river. Jeff Wilhelm and other boat owners plan to wait for higher water conditions. You can see the boat sitting back there high and dry, So, uh, but it won't be long. It won't be long. The only good thing I can say about not missing the boat in the water, I don't have to put all the fuel in it. That's the, that's the only thing I can tell you. This is the very popular boat launch here in Camelon Park, just downstream from the Spokane Street Bridge. Unfortunately, until the dam is closed, this boat launch has to stay closed as well and not expected to open until July 5th. Reporting in Post Falls, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.